now enough. through nine and ten for the final time. I'll give it clean enough, Rick. <laughs> There's the gap. Here comes the eight also. Don't forget about Daniel Hemrick back there. One mistake. We've seen it out of Chase Briscoe. Bit slow through the turn there for A.J. Allmendinger. Gregson, Hemrick, second and third. One more time back. No mistakes. through the front. Chicane for A.J. Allmendinger. The gap is closed oh, the up. Eight. The eight slid the rears. The 16, A.J. Allmendinger will win at the Charlotte Roval. This corner, he gets in there good. Oh, he missed it a little bit. We're about, to, be we're about to be ready for the dive. Uh oh. Oh, he's wheel hopping. He's going to hit him. Is there. He hit him. Hey, oh, got him. Oh, oh no. 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 It's not over. Get him back. Denny got in there and wheel hopped. I don't think he meant for that to happen, but then he made contact with Tony. I think Tony was also pretty loose getting in there. Well, that, that was what happened to Tony Lap before, you know, when he got loose into seven and that allowed Hamlin to close up. Hey, but this thing's not over, guys. Watch oh. what happens into turn 11 in this heavy braking zone. Two more corners. Hamlin trying to pull Tony's away. Close yeah. enough. I think Tony used up his stuff. I mean, we knew he was having, you know, issues Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Stewart inside. Oh, he Hamlin is there. Wide. He Play gets the Hamlin. They Whoa. hit. And Stewart comes off turn 11. Oh, Look at that. Oh, He's oh, coming oh, to the flag. Oh, how did that Tony Stewart How did that happen? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Still holding on. Can Gregson get to the bumper? Through eight, nine, and here they come to turn 10, the final turn. Gregson gets underneath. Gillen and Gregson go side by side and around. Justin Haley is going to come through and win in Canada. You call it Michael Justin Haley. The teammates take one another out, and Justin Haley comes through to win the playoff opener. Doesn't look very stable right now. One lap to go. Kyle Busch, defensive line into turn one. There's something wrong with the 18. Now Ambrose trying to get second from Keslowski while he tries to get the lead from Kyle. Oh, Contact the turn in the S's. And slide. Got it. Dangerous spot on the track for Kyle to be sideways. Looks like he gets off to the guardrail. No caution yet. Here's the race for the lead. Because has got damage on the left front. Is the tire going to make it all the way around? And will the nine help him? Oh, Everybody's in the grass. grass. Oh, yeah, clear. Dig, dig, dig. That dig, might dig. have been the race right there. We'll no. see. No, Keselowski's slower. Because he has got a problem. Trying to stay with Ambrose. Two final corners. Do they use the bumpers? A nudge, a push. Can Ambrose save it? To the checkered flag. Who gets here first? Clear, clear. Ambrose, nine. Kozlowski, two. Final corner. Marcus Ambrose is going to win at Watkins Glen in a remarkable last lap turn of events. Custer getting through. Here they come through turn nine. Nemechek gives him a little bump. Custer hanging on. Nemechek gets into him. John Hunter Nemechek and Cole Custer. They're wrecking and spinning, coming to the line. Who is it going to be? Side by side through the grass. I think it looked like Nemechek. It looked like Nemechek to me, but I'm not sure. Points to the good, so he may he's not there. afford it, but look, he's there. What a great corner. Here they come through the final banked curve at Charlotte Roble. Now he goes to the inside. Here comes Jimmy Johnson. Oh. Locks the brakes up. Oh, he's and spinning. he's going to slide. He slides through the middle. Truex gets oh, tagged. Now it'll be a fight for the finish line. Ryan Blaney in the 12 will win. He stopped. He came to a full stop to make sure that he was good with NASCAR. Where's he going to finish? There, I believe he's, he can hold him off through these next two corners. 
Remember, it was the last corner of the last lap last year. One little mistake that cost Marcus Ambrose the they, win and allowed Carl Edwards to go by. Go. Here's Pappas inside of Boris. He got him. Boris going to try the crossover. Clear, clear. Pappas over the curves. Here comes Boris said, drag racing to the finish line, side by side. Who's going to get here first? It is, I think, Boris, Boris said. I think he got him by a bumper. Can he, Can he get, get the grip? The, it's the grip. He's trying to fight that grip off the corner. All right. He now gets in the bumper. He's pushing Ambrose. Yeah. Now he's got it. one more chance going into 13. Marcus taking the defensive line down the middle, saying, if you're going to go, you're going to tell me where you're going first. Here he comes into 13. Well, Carl Edwards is doing everything he can right here. And oh, oh, Marcus! Big time curve. curve. Here comes Edwards. Edwards. Oh. Oh. No! Can you believe this? Carl Edwards gets around him. Marcus makes one mistake all day, and it's going to cost him the win. Unbelievable. Austin Cedric looking for his first ever win in the Xfinity Series. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. They dive deep into turn number one. Cedric slides into 10 wide. Digger goes wider. Here they come now into turn two. Into the S's for the final time in Watkins Glen. Cedric trying to hang on to the race car. But A.J. Ullman Digger is there. He is on the back bumper. This is the battle for the win. Digger wants the inside, and Cedric will not let him have it. Amazing run through the S's for Ullman Digger, but Cedric pulling away toward the braking zone. AJ is not close enough to be able to do anything here in the inner loop. Through the inner loop, Cedric looks in the mirror, hoping to see some a gap between him and Al Almendinger to be able to get comfortable through this carousel. No mistakes for the 22 through the carousel on corner exit, driving away, extending that lead. Austin Cedric now has a big enough gap on Almendinger. He can just be cool, be smart. You do not have to overdrive turn six to stay far enough away from him. Job done, now set up turn seven, comes in a checker. Brian Wilson, the crew chief, made the call, brought him to pit road for pressure tires. The 20-year-old makes the final turn. He comes in front of the grandstands. He'll get his first Xfinity Series win. Austin Cedric does it at the Glen. Yeah! Yeah! I love you guys. Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job, man.